which is annoying. In fact, I probably could just shift over that one and then make another there, which wouldn't be as much work. But either way, the inside is what I've been working on the most. And I've actually spent a really decent amount of time trying to make this a really cool interior. So at the moment, I'm thinking this is where the console is going to be. This is where you actually make your order for Sahara. Now, <laughs> I've tried my best actually mob proof it. You can see I've put carpet everywhere. I've even added some nice detailing on the roof. There's like end rods that uh, are, act as light and it's like it's hanging from there. I've really put in a lot of effort to try and make this lobby look really attractive to anyone that comes into the shop. I've also added a couple of elevators here, just some bubble elevators with some arrows pointing the direction that they go in. But up here, I've still got a lot to do. So. Yeah, I basically went to get quartz and I came back and worked on all this and boy oh boy did I use quite a lot of materials. Now over here, you'll notice that I've been making these big holes and what I've been thinking is that I can do the glass fog trick to try and make something more decorative. <laughs> Enough of my story about pushing Rendog around. I actually also have started another room within Sahara. Now this is going to be quite important. As you know, in my base we've got a meeting room, the Infinity Room. And it's been used an awful lot in the past, but we can't keep using that for Sahara Matters. So, I've created a boardroom. Now, I'm not finished, as you can see, there's still a lot of glass that needs placing. But this is like an interior room where we can all meet and talk about our things. For example, the marketing campaign. And this is going to be a huge part of my role in Sahara. Because I don't know the redstone, I mean, who knows what's going on over there? Really, no, who knows? A couple of people to be fair, but not me. So my role is going to be marketing. I need to bring people to Sahara, which should be a lot of fun. So we've already got the shop at Sahara. Hashtag shop at Sahara. Pretty standard stuff. We've got a flyer campaign that I'm hoping to do. Targeted ads, that's gonna be a lot of fun. And question mark, question mark, question mark, because I don't want to I don't want to reveal all my secrets, but basically what I'm trying to say here is that I've got some big plans and hopefully I can pitch these to the guys. So imagine me standing here, I'm gonna I've got my like my board with with the uh, with the charts on it, and I'm gonna have to pitch my marketing thing to the other Sahara guys. And also, this here is where I'm going to move the parrots. This is a pretty this is a pretty terrible room to be honest with you. So I'm gonna move all of these parrots and probably get some more into here and we can have a, a, a room dedicated to dancing parrots. So we could just do this, right? So we take the signal from the back here. This is all to the item filter. We can deal with it. Hello? <laughs> For goodness sake. He just logs on and starts circling. <laughs> he is so weird. But yeah, we could take the signal from there, but we don't want this distance from that signal to be too far because every torch will add a tick of delay to the item cell or to the correct uh, storage cell. So that means that that's still six blocks. And do I want some space? I think I'm going to go with eight blocks. I thought that we would do one of these third person time lapse cutscenes of me digging this out and putting up the decoders because this is something that I should really do more. <laughs> That's better. But it didn't stop there. I decided to build the whole logo in the one stream. And I am so excited to show you guys this. And just before I do, I want to say a big thank you to everybody who submitted their own submissions of the Sahara logo on my Twitter. I mean, there must have been at least... I, I don't even know, but there must have been at least a hundred different submissions and some of them was really, really good. But here is the one that I came up with that I then built in the stream. Oh my goodness. That is... That is just so good. I really, really, really like it. And next to this one, it's such an improvement. It is such an improvement. The big test isn't to put it next to the Sahara old one. The big test is to put it next to the beautiful Konbat one. And I gotta say, that is comparable. I, I, I didn't think I could do it, 
But I think that is definitely comparable. I like that they are very different. It really stands out who is who. And they are definitely on the same sort of level, I feel at least. Hello! I'm trying to find Grian because of course he would need to approve it. But it looks like he's AFK. And I have no idea where he is. I guess what we will do is leave it here for him to see. And we'll see if he... Or we'll see what he says. I cannot wait to see his reaction to it. I think that he's going to be very pleased. And let's also leave him a few copies here so that he can use them for the marketing campaign. But all in all, I gotta say, I am so pleased with this. I, I am so very pleased with this design. I think this definitely fits the whole Sahara venue, the whole Sahara business, the whole plaza, the park, everything. I mean, this is also very good because you can basically put it anywhere and it just, it doesn't look out of place. Oh, and this isn't actually just a prank, by the way. We actually do need to have a meeting. We, we genuinely need to talk about what's going on with architects. I just thought I'd do this on the side for a bit of a laugh. Welcome to the meeting, Iskow and Mumbo. Good to see you back. Been a while. Where have you been? Where have you been? Who are you talking to right now? Well, both of you, really. Okay, okay, okay. Iskal, do you want to go first? Where have you been? I Yeah, I've been around. I've been about. I've been doing some bits and bobs here and theirs. And, uh, mus Mustache Man, where have you been? Uh, yeah, I haven't been here at all. I've been a really terrible employee for Architect. I've actually been... I've been working on my own house, uh, as opposed to, like, the Architect project. I, I apologise for that. So, you haven't uh. seen this room? No, I haven't seen any of this stuff. I kind of came by and I, I yeah, I, I've been pretty blown away by some of the things that you guys have been working on while I've been gone. I was actually pretty blown away as well. I walked into this room oh, no. only oh. to realise... Oh, no. yeah. This is our lead <laughs> architect that has built this and he's built it... He, uh, he, uh, how, how hard is it, right, to just centre up? I'm going to make the door room. two blocks bigger and then you guys can shush. <laughs> Let's get this meeting underway. Hold on, let me put the music on. I made this room specifically for meeting time. There we go. All right. Oh, cozy background noise. Let me see. I like it. <laughs> I just realized I don't even get to enjoy it either. I, <laughs> no, you're my sitting seat. in the worst chair. I really <laughs> appreciate the chair that you gave me, Grian. Thank yeah, you. No problem. I mean, that is my chair, but I just didn't say anything. Oh. oh. <laughs> of course. <laughs> I. I mean, I, I love I love the parrots in the background. It's kind of one of those distractions in a meeting that the boss yeah. will go, all right, all right, let's not have it quite that funny today, lads. Let's move on, <laughs> right? And so I'm going to move on from the beautiful okay. parrots. I got something that I want to show you guys that I've been working on, that I've been dying to show you guys. Okay, go on. You ready for this? I worked out... Some boys. Mesmerized. So, so, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, yeah. What, what were you talking about, Iskal? You, you've just come back. You've done some business. Where? Well, I haven't been I listening have... at all. At oh, all. No. I have done a logo for Sahara because every successful business requires a logo. So check this out. I spent absolute ages on this. Boom. Oh, I've already seen this one. Oh yeah, sorry. That that's actually a, that's actually a graph of our growth. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> here, here's the logo. Boom. Oh, nice. Wow. That's so I much like better. I like the cactus. That's so much Bumbo better. Bumbo Cactoni returns on on Hermitcraft oh, my, season six. Yeah. Can we? Oh my goodness. <laughs> can we, can we add put a, a little cactus? mustache on it? Why haven't we done that? I mean, that? that that would make it perfect. I I I will have to play around with those ideas. Very oh, nice, I guys. I forgot to put my suit on. All right, I'm going casual this time. There we go. Okay. Wow. Casual Korean. Wow. Ca casual meeting. Mumbo. So you focus, shouldn't put it. Focus, you shouldn't focus, put it in. Focus. in it, you you can't put it in the meeting room. Okay, it's as simple as that. All right. Well, we've got more secret matters to discuss. Okay. It's so What's secret happened? that my button didn't work. It's because I'm sitting in the wrong chair. It's girl. Swap with me. Mumbo, go sit in your chair. Come on. Okay. 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 I've been working on this. I've been, I've been trying so hard. <laughs> there we go. Oh, oh no! no I I oh, for, good, for goodness sake! Mumbo. I came out of my chair to check what you were doing. There wow, we go. Wow, okay, yeah, here we go. No. Welcome to the real <laughs> <laughs>